Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review. And today's of which is on the Hogwarts Express from 2001, first version of it, obviously. So on the front of the box here, you see that a border that's been used for all the Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber Secrets line, of course, and also younger version of Harry, obviously, and the has 410 pieces, Hogwarts Express, picture of it coming in to uh, the station, of course, and ages 8 to 12, set number 4708, Lego logo. And look on the back, you see Lego, just imagine, and logo saying Sorcerer's Stone, of course. And another shot of it, a couple of alternate builds, and join the fun, lego.com, of course, and... Also, all the sets together, obviously. And on to the instruction manual. Oh, wait. Same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back is Alfred the Creator PC CD ROM game. And then, out of all the same out of all the sets together, alternate shot of the set. And also some small alternate builds with very few steps on how to build. The same ones that were on the back of the box, of course. And again. And also other form of it, of course. And also small instructions on how to customize it into the uh, 9 volt train stuff or whatever. A couple of alternate shots. <laughs> kind of a lot of stuff in this manual, of course. So, and then the last building steps. First of which is Harry Potter himself. This, uh, well, this version of which, this torso print, which did come exclusive to this set. And also until the following year was also in the uh, uh, Gringotts Bank set, of course. But aside from that, also he's holding a printed tile that shows a holographic picture of Dumbledore, of course. Well, kind of representing this part in the movie where it is supposed to be a moving picture of Dumbledore, of course. Also, I think could have made him a bit more exclusive to this one is let there be the... Oh, wait. Uh, Tape-like substance in the glasses, of course, until Hermione fixes it with a spell, of course. And, of course, holding the, a great bar for a wand, of course. And... No back torso print since it's an older figure, obviously. Um, yeah. And next to which is Ron Weasley with a, a different with torso print, kind of similar to the hairy ones, which and also kind of lightish yellow to it, which is a problem Lego has always been faced with, of course. And this version, of which also was seen in the. Uh, a uh, four privet drive set for the following year, of course, and also the brown bar piece, of course. And no back torso print or double side face since it's an older figure, but face print and hair piece, same on other versions from the time, of course. And lastly is Hermione Granger. I was also using the tan one, of course. So it's kind of a way to differentiate the colors of the wands for each one and the torso print, which I think might be exclusive to this one, or to this set, I'm not sure though, but anyway, whatever. But the face print hair piece, oh, same as the other early versions, of course, and also the old school starry cape, of course, but although on this one it's kind of put on the inside rather than outside, but, but no back torso print, of course. So, 
first of it is the uh, little station, of course, which is kind of a cup pair of little by one bricks, of course, with long plates holding it. Have the line uh, station lamp or street lamp piece in red, kind of nice, and a couple of you know, a little trolley holding the old style suitcases there and also a lifter there of course and the other side has a little made bin of course and also a little book piece which is does come in a few other sets of course with printing on the spine which is nice and of course clip open obviously until they fit replace that with the next one night's version in later time, in current times, of course. And of course, the lamppost piece again, and the Fabuland uh, street sign piece, of course, but finally we're using this one, but with a sticker that says platform nine three quarters, of course. But in the center part, which, which does have a uh, one by Eight or ten so brick that says Hogwarts Express and platform nine and three quarters of course and also a little clock above representing that and also good use of all these uh, Technic ball pieces joint pieces okay, and look on the other side I was quite vacant and all but saying King's Cross and platform nine and ten of course and the regular toll thing. But what the main feature is, if you put a main thing on it and look on the other side, and can just oh whoops, well make sure they aren't holding any accessories, and you can just it's kind of hard. Then you can just put on across, of course. Of course, representing when they uh, go through the walls to get to platform nine and three quarter. But at least they, at least until they figured how to improve that on the 2018 version of the Hogwarts Express set, of course. So for the Hogwarts Express itself, starting with the uh, uh, locomotive, of course. As you see, quite similar to most other versions, but a little bit more of a pale, weaker form. Like, of course, 10 of the, like, kind of small-ish wheels, of course. Only they do roll just fine. And, and, of course, and it does have a couple of stickers, uh, which is representing a uh, rim, wheel rim, of course, but all of this unlike the other versions, does not have the coupling rods, but of course needed the larger wheel pieces for that. Maybe they just wanted to save money on this one or whatever. And of course has the 5972 number. And for the front part of which, which does also have that, of course, and saying Hogwarts Express on this uh, satellite dish piece. And it also paramagnets which they used on a lot of earlier train sets of course and also same with these bumper pieces of course and from the top view is does have both the smoke snack and boiler of course and a couple of these uh long bar pieces for uh climbing rods or whatever um, you can flip this open, and there's a little frog piece. Although I think it should have been in brown, representing a chocolate frog, obviously. And flip this one open, and there's a little treasure chest, which is included with the feature. And for the conductor or engineer's cabinet, you do have a little tan cylinder sticking out, of course. And the feature is if you press on that, then it can pop right open, right out, of course, and open it, and there's the uh, metallic gold keys, 
of course. And turn, if I set it in again. Oh, sorry. Just gotta slide in to ride on down. And be sure to push it on the uh, metal spring piece in there, like so. And there. And now on to the passenger car. Which also some, and of course, this is which quite unique, almost like the 2004 version, well, regular version, not motorized, but where it's just the engine and car, but at least until the 2010-18 versions did include a tender in the middle, of course. But anyways, on. and you do have a long brick that has a sticker that says Hogwarts Express on it. And also four of those old style wheel pieces, and of course the big long plates that they've always used in train sets. This has a one and two for whatever reason. And the roof of which made of a lot of these jagged slope pieces and also a little spider. But as but in just a goods review on this set, he just potted all these off individually, but it's kind of not the right way to do so. But I just hold one end here and another hand here and break the whole thing off, which is which I prefer more. And besides that, you do get a couple more of those star cape pieces that, you, that just slip on in there. As well as a white owl piece, but of which uses head wig, of course, and also the gray rat piece. And a few enough spaces to fit all your mini figs onto, obviously. And just like most sets of nowadays can fit on very few studs to access it easier. And enough space to fit four mini figs onto it, of course. And how it happens is with the magnets. Of course. So let me, let me get it together. the final verdict. So, overall, this I think a, a quite fair good version of the Hogwarts Express, even though it doesn't have a tender to it, which I think could have bumped the price up a bit, but I can forgive it. But also, for all the features that it has, I can forgive it as well. But although I think it could have had some more mini figs added into it, like an engineer or whatever. But and although the minifig selection, which is kind of small for this, but and also didn't stay exclusive to it for very long since they were in other sets the following year, of course. But at least with the uh, later versions of this set, they did well improve to it. And, then, yeah. and also, although I think the car of which can extend to other versions of it, unless if you modified the engine into a car, of course. And, well, if you still have this set from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who have it and still have access to this set, I'd say truly go ahead and get it. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.